Guys, we're looking at a case study here from pathology. An adult male with history of on and off fever. Okay, please focus here if you're sleeping. An adult male with history of on and off fever. He has fever with cough and loss of weight since six months. He has cough, guys, loss of weight. Since six months, he's presented with severe headache, altered sensorium and vomiting and lumbar puncture was done. Now, when lumbar puncture was done, what they found, the CSF, the analysis of the CSF shows that the appearance is turbid, coagulum, co-web formation on standing. There is some co-web. If it let it stand, it will form some web. Proteins are increased. Glucose seems to be little less or okay, right? It is chloride. Cell count is 250. Cell count has decreased, is it? And cell types predominantly lymphocytes. This is the major giveaway for you. This one. Predominantly lymphocytes means what? Go to the CSF, um, our CSF <coughs> presentation and there you will remember that we have seen this already. Okay. So basically if it is lymphocytes, what did we see? Mostly lymphocytes means tuberculous meningitis. Here there is some co-web formation they are seeing in, in the appearance. The proteins are increased because they have written it is 200, right? So proteins have increased and glucose is 45. That means it is decreased. It's almost same because normal is 45 to 80. They are seeing decreased means actually they have given it as 45 only. Anyways, uh, go back to the presentation there and look at this. So proteins have increased. Glucose seems to be okay. Predominantly lymphocytes. What should the cell count be? Normal cell count, what should it be? For uh, cell count, cell count is less than 5 per microliter. So here they are saying the cell count is around 200 something, right? So it is again pointing to tuberculous meningitis only. So <clears throat> cell count 250 cells. Okay, predominantly lymphocytes is the giveaway for you. What is the diagnosis? Now write the diagnosis. Diagnosis is tuberculous meningitis. Two points in favor are predominantly lymphocytes. Maybe this co-web formation, I'm not sure. But proteins are more and uh, proteins are more. Why will you say it is meningitis? Because the appearance of the CSF is slightly turbid. The person has headache, altered sensorium, etc. Look at the clinical features also. He has fever. As he has cough and loss of weight since six months, it seems to be a tuberculosis case itself. Right? All this you can write. Then what is the normal CSF cell count? Here they are asking the normal CSF cell count that we have seen here. Normal CSF cell count is uh, less than 5 per microliter. And mostly the CSF will have lymphocytes. So less than 5, that is the answer for this, less than 5 cells per microliter is the normal CSF cell counts and mostly they will be lymphocytes okay what is xanthochromia what are the causes what is xanthochromia guys so guys xanthochromia means when you centrifuge the csf right it will look like this it will have a yellow supernatant so this is called as xanthochromia yellow supernat yellow is supernatant of the csf centrifuging finding <coughs> what are the causes of this jo subarachnoid hemorrhage jaundice and even if the protein level is greater than 150 mg per deciliter. Do you know what the normal level will be of protein? Protein normal level will actually be 15 to 45 mg per deciliter. Here they are saying it will be more than 150 mg per deciliter. Okay, that is xanthochromia. Did you get the answers for all the questions here? So, basically here, uh, what is the diagnosis? Tuberculous meningitis. What is the cause? Mycobacterium tuberculosis, right? Two points in your favor, predominantly lymphocytes and uh, pro increased proteins, slightly turbid uh, CSF, weight loss, cough, everything has been mentioned. Then normal CSF cell count less than five per, uh, less than five per, uh, less than five cells per microliter and they'll be mostly lymphocytes. Okay. Then what is xanthochromia? It is a yellowish supernatant of the CSF. When you centrifuge, you'll get yellowish supernatant. It is, uh, findings will usually be in uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage, subarachnoid hemorrhage, jaundice, and if proteins are greater than 
150 mg per deciliter. Okay. We're done with this case study. See you in the next case study, guys. Bye.